In this video, I'll explain the trust game. The trust game is a common game in experimental economics, and it consists of two players, the sender and the receiver. At the start of the game, the experimenter gives both the sender and the receiver an endowment. Typically, it's around $10, but for our purposes, let's just assume it's $2. Thereafter, the sender sends some money to the receiver. The sender can send any amount from $0 up to his or her total endowment. After the sender sends money, the experimenter triples the amount the sender sent to the receiver. Finally, the receiver sends back money to the sender. The receiver can send any amount from $0 up to the amount the receiver had after the experimenter tripled the amount of money sent. Why do economists study the trust game? The reason is that it contradicts what standard economic models would predict. If the receiver was solely interested in maximizing their wealth, the receiver would send nothing back to the sender at the end of the trust game. And this is a relatively simple game, so the sender should be able to anticipate this at the start of the game and send nothing to the receiver. However, economists have conducted over a hundred trust game experiments and they found that, on average, the sender sends around 50% of his or her endowment and the receiver sends back 37% of the amount available to him or her on average. This illustrates that people do not just care about their own wealth. They care about other things, such as the wealth of other people. One might also use the trust game to argue that people trust each other, although this interpretation has been disputed. There have been many interesting results from experiments using the trust game. Here, I'll highlight three of them. The first is there is considerable there is considerable variation in um, sending and receiving behavior by geography. In particular, subjects from Africa tend to send and receive less. The second is that oxytocin, a neuropeptide shown to play a crucial role in social affiliation and attachment, increases the amount sent by senders, but not the amount sent back by receivers, suggesting that oxytocin increases trust in humans. Finally, monozygotic twins, also known as identical twins, show higher correlation in their behavior than dizygotic twins, also known as fraternal twins, suggesting that genetics influences trust game behavior.